Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you my little sharky buddy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. But what we're really talking today is contracts and the allied resistance forces contracts. How important they are, what you use them for, what you get from them, and why you should be doing them. But before we get into it, I'm giving away some lucents. If you did not see the previous winner, I'll link the video down below where I mentioned it. And this time around, we are giving away slightly more lucent for the first time and probably only time because it's expensive as hell. But we are giving away the 2500 pack so you know leave a comment down below telling me whatever you want to tell me completely up to you hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here and hopefully throne and liberty still allows me to produce content because i'm running out of ideas and i'm really sad because i like this game so we are going to talk about contracts so to understand the scroll versions of contracts, let's just very quickly have a look at, you know, normal contracts. You can go to any town, go to a contract manager and pick up all of these. Usually they are within the area of where you pick them up. So very close to this town, these things will appear and they're very easy. Defeat Armadillo, defeat Spineback Lizards, and then you get a whole bunch of rewards. You get gold, you get contract coins, which are very, very important. I'm going to show you why as well. And then you get things like training, do 1000 points. These all go towards your um, weapon mastery so you should be doing these pretty much every day regardless of whether you're level 50 or not don't listen to people telling you otherwise you will get be able to build up your characters in a lot of different ways just by doing contracts the contract coins are very important because if you go over here to a contract coin merchant once you get 1500 you can go and get a purple weapon you can select it if you like to gamble, you can buy a 200 contract coin precious blessing pouch every single day. And that is where I also got a few of my contract scrolls, which we're going to talk about too, the things we're talking about today. So you can get them from here. So essentially do contracts and you can either save up and get a good weapon or gamble on these. And then there's other things you can potentially do as well. That's just completely up to you. But it all goes hand in hand is essentially what I'm saying. Now, if I go into my content notifications, you can see that for contracts we have resistance contracts which is what we pick up from the contract managers a zero out of five um limit so if i go in here you can see zero out of five i pick up five of these i complete them i come back i refresh you can only hold five at a time however these ones have their own limit of five so essentially you have 10 contracts a day which is pretty goddamn cool and you just gotta go and do them there are ways you can refresh them as well so i was using the Tadal Towers contract and it put me at like the 19th floor which I'm not even at yet so I refreshed for a small amount of gold and I got the score posts on 12th floor now for Tadal's Towers contracts you actually get a different set of rewards than you do for the open dungeons ones if we go over to the sundries merchant in any town you can pick up all of these every week so you can pick up three of the contracts for the Tadal's Tower and you can pick up six of the contracts for things out in the world you know open dungeons and stuff which i'll show you too and they have good rewards now here for the tadles tower you get a whole bunch of other stuff but you get 28 of the training do which you get from normal contracts however it's not a thousand points it's ten thousand points so that is also and probably the best way to get a whole bunch of weapon mastery is to do these contracts for these smaller training dues but then doing the Tadal Towers contracts for, I mean, if you do three of them, that's 28, 10,000 points times three. So you're going to get a lot of weapon mastery every single week. And then these ones are for open dungeons. If we go in here, you can see that I have Silius as Abyss. We have Shadowed Crypt, which is the newest open world dungeon. Sanctum of Desire and Sorodoma Island. Now, this one here and this one here, you can't use yet. This isn't in the game yet. And this is in Silius' Abyss, but it's the lower floors, which are also not in the game yet. So if you do get these, it's up to you whether you want to keep them or do something else with them, which we're going to talk about. But a lot of them can be used. And what you get from completing these amongst a whole bunch of other rewards is Abyss Currency. Now, I have 13 of these. Every time you complete one of these open world allied resistance contract scrolls, you will get a coin once you have 40 coins, you can go to a crafting vendor and you can create a chest full of weapons and stuff which you either can select from or it's random, I can't remember. But that's what you that's, that's what it's good for. You can use these, complete them, get these coins, get purple weapons, purple armor maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure about what you get from this, but I just know when you get to 40, you will be able to use them at a crafter to get a bunch of rewards. So this is kind of like your 
day-to-day -day grind, let's say. But there is one more merchant I want to go and visit to show off more about all of these contracts and stuff. So we have the place where you can buy them. We have the idea of what they give, but you can also craft these. And it's kind of hard to explain here because I have only ever seen blue scrolls. I haven't seen green scrolls in this game yet, or maybe I just haven't been lucky enough to get them or I don't know how to get them. But whenever you craft something, so let's say you craft a blue one, you need the allied forces seal of the previous tier. So you need 10 green ones to make a blue one. For the green ones, you need 14, 12, 10 of the blank, you know, common white material allied forces seal one. I don't know where you get these. Well, I do, but I don't know where you get them without having the green ones because the green ones are directly involved in getting the white ones if that makes sense and i'm going to explain it to you so we're going to use this one as an example because they're not in the game yet i can go in here and i can dissolve them now it's going to list all 18 of them which obviously you don't want so i'm going to split them like this and i'm going to take it down by two so if i confirm that it leaves two in the box put 16 back and i get 10 allied forces sealed to the green ones so now after dismantling two of the rare ones, I have 10 of these um, seals. I'm just going to dissolve them just to show you what it does. And then I can go in here and I can craft one. So at the moment, the Shadowed Crypt is up and running. So I can use that to craft. I've spent about 20,000 gold. And now I have an extra one for something that I can actually do and get rewards for. So if you don't want to wait, you can get rid of these and make them into the ones that you can do. And then when you do them and complete them, you'll get these Abyss Currencies, which you can then turn into a chest for weapons and stuff. I believe you can go to any crafter, I believe. And I think it's when you get the, when you get the coins, it will appear here, but don't quote me on that. But this is the way that you actually do it. So there is a lot there and the reasons why you should be getting these contracts and completing them. It's very obvious you get so much from this game but you do have to put the grind in a little bit and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go do the 12th floor scorpion and i'll see you in a second hopefully when i finished it so that you can see the rewards that you get and boom you can see i get precious emirate ore rubik's ore and the other ore and you get 28 of those training dues and i'm going to use them now to show you how much you can get off it so if I go into my skills first, you can see that my greatsword is just underneath the R and my sword is just underneath the R as well. That's actually kind of convenient. Um, so if we go into inventory and we use these, all of them, boom, 280,000 XP. And you can see that my greatsword jumped from here to here and my sword jumped from here to here. So you get a significant amount of weapon mastery from completing the Tadles Towers contracts. And also as well on top of that, the other contracts that you get from the Crypts and stuff, you get a lot of stuff from that too. I've just for some reason realized as well that the Sanctum of Desire is also not here. So what I might do actually is take all of these, break them all down and just make Shadow Crypt ones. That's what I think I might do. So that's the video anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it makes more sense now what to do with these things and why you should be doing them. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.